Hello, first tonight. As the attacks on Ukraine continue, Suffolk County Council is calling on more people to host refugees from the war-torn country. Thousands of people have been offered safe haven across the region since the Homes for Ukraine scheme started nine months ago. But as the cost of living crisis continues, more hosts are forced to make difficult decisions. Russell Hookie has more. After several months in Felixstowe, the Manzosh family from Ukraine are starting to feel at home. But while they tried to enjoy their first UK Christmas, it was spent 2,000 miles away from friends and family stuck in their war-torn homeland. We look now in the uh, weather in Felixstowe, it's very nice, uh, 10 uh, degrees, but in Ukraine, uh, yeah, a few minus regions, 10, minus, minus 10, 10. when a house without uh, heating. Uh, heating, without water, without electricity, in uh, this situation it's more difficult. The family are staying with Neville Stein and his wife. They want to continue participating in the Ukrainian refugee scheme, but they agree it's becoming a harder decision as the cost of living crisis affects many in the East. People might get compassion fatigue, um, you know, perhaps in this country. You know, it's a challenge to have refugees, Ukrainian guests, in, in, in one's home. You know, perhaps everyone thought that this war was going to be quick and wouldn't last long. And perhaps, you know, after six months, people might go back home. It looks like this war is going to continue. Suffolk County Council says there's now a shortage of accommodation for many Ukrainians. As some British family circumstances change, despite an increase in payments. It told us while some guests are able to move on at six months into independent accommodation, some are not yet ready or able to. The county is therefore now in need of new hosts to offer them a safe haven while the war in Ukraine continues. We're now into the situation where again you start facing uh, challenges, uh, particularly finding accommodation for them. It's not something that they can really do completely by themselves without a degree of support. Ukrainians making a new life in the East say they know life is now tougher for many people here. But after losing their homes and livelihoods, they say a new start in Suffolk is the answer to their prayers. If you help Ukrainians now, I, I believe that in future God bless you very much. They need to understand they are a very big gift for Ukrainians people. Russell Hookie, ITV News, Felix Stowe. <laughs>